Doesn't help that you're a Catholic, sir. Unfortunately, sir, you are in peaceful coexistence with murder. The third largest murdering state in the country, and you're at peaceful coexistence with it. You don't want me to take it the wrong way. I'm sorry, sir, there's no other way to take it. How many people here at the public center are at peaceful coexistence with murder? Right across the street from where you grocery shop, where you clean your clothes, you cut your hair, and you get your jewelry, they murder children. And you are at peaceful, peaceful coexistence with the mass slaughter of innocent children. You go about your busy day doing your grocery shopping and getting your pizza when right across the street they are murdering children. That is called peaceful coexistence. That is the same thing as going grocery shopping across the street from Auschwitz from Bergen-Belsen, from Dachau. But hey, that is you who are at peaceful coexistence with death. It's the same thing as going grocery shopping across the street from the slave traders. We are calling you to repent and open up your eyes to the mass slaughter that is happening right across the street where you go eat your breakfast, where you go buy your groceries, where you get your hair cut and your nails done. Right across the street, they are murdering innocent children right now. James Gingelbach murders innocent children right across the street from where you do your shopping. That is called peaceful coexistence. You are ageist and you are prejudiced. You hold your noses in the air because you believe you are so good. Yet you are ageist. You are prejudiced against the least of these. And Jesus said, whatever you do to the least of these, you do this unto me. And whatever you do not do for the least of these, my children, you do not do this for me. We are calling you to repent and wake up. Open your eyes. You live in a state. That is the number three baby murdering state in the country. And you grocery shop right across the street. You go and eat your breakfast right across the street. Wake up, repent. For the day, today is the day of salvation. Each one of these children is a blessing from God, is an image bearer of God, created by the hand of God, whom God foreknew before they were even in the womb. And yet we peacefully coexist with their mass murder. Over one million every year here in this country. 
Oh, but we open up Holocaust museums that say never again. Never again. Wake up and repent. Turn from your sin. Stand up. Hate evil. Do good. Have mercy. Practice justice and righteousness. If you do not repent, Jesus has already declared that you have been condemned already. Read his word. Most people don't want to. They'd rather pay some man to tell them all the sweet, huggy parts of it. That is called selective belief. That is called belief in a God that does not exist outside of your own mind. Open up your eyes and realize you are at peaceful coexistence with the murder of children. Repent and turn from your sin and God will heal you. He will then hear your prayers. Read Isaiah. Read Amos 5. But no. It's just much easier to peacefully coexist with the murder of God's image bearers. Repent and turn from your sin and he will forgive. Continue on the wide path that leads to destruction and you have been condemned already. Open up your eyes to the fact that you grocery shop and eat your breakfast and buy your liquor and clean your clothes and have your jewelry set right across the street from a mass murdering center and you have no problem with it. Oh, the dead to the earth.